What's up, guys? So, Kung Fu Panda 3 is the first animated film of the year that I've seen. I did not see Norm of the North. Not because I've heard horrible things about it, just because I just didn't get to it. If I was able to see it, I would have. So, Kung Fu Panda 3 stars Jack Black once again as the lead character, Poe. The story is that he finds his actual father, his biological father, not just the, the duck thing uh, that... that you know, raised him, he actually finds his father, who's played by Brian Cranston, and then Poe discovers that there's this whole village of uh, pandas up in, the, up in the mountains. The villain of the film, named Kai, is pretty much starting to cause some serious crap. But that's really all you need to know, you know, it's Kung Fu Panda 3, you go into it, you're expecting a good animated film. Now, this was supposed to come out in December, so I originally was like, why is this coming out in January? That's kind of weird. But they didn't release it in December because of that. So, <laughs> um, you know, they had to push it so it would maybe make a little more money. Uh, so we got to see what this weekend brings, you know, box office wise. This is a fun film. You know, Kung Fu Panda 3 is entertaining. It, the animation is fantastic. The score by Hans Zimmer. I actually really enjoyed the score. You know, I didn't know Hans Zimmer did the music as I was watching the film. I'm sitting there and I'm sitting with my buddy and I'm going, the score is pretty good. And I like the music. And then the credits come up. And uh, we see music by Hans Zimmer. It's like, oh, all right. Well, no wonder why the score is good. There's really no emotional depth to it. It's just kind of like wonderful entertainment and like great characters and everything. But I never really felt, I mean, I was invested into the characters. I was invested into the story. But for me, there just wasn't a hit, you know, like what didn't hit me emotionally. Overall, I'm going to give Kung Fu Panda 3 4 out of 5 stars. Guys, comment your thoughts in the comment section. Do you plan on seeing this film? Did you see it already? What do you think about it? Comment below. Also, you can subscribe to this channel because my next video that's going to be up on this channel is going to be my Blu-ray unboxing for Bridge of Spies, uh, and that's going to be on Tuesday, so you can check that out. I'll be giving away the digital copy code in that video, so if you're interested, come back and, you know, check check that out when it's up. Uh, also, yeah, guys, you can follow me on Twitter and like my Facebook review page. The links to those are in the description of this video, and yeah, guys, that's about it. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you subscribe. Over and out. In the chit chat. <laughs> Gotta get in there. But Master Chief, you're seriously afraid? Even Master Chicken's going in there, and he's a chicken. <laughs>